What's good? What's up, Messy Mob? It's your girl, Messy Maya, and I am back again with another video. So today we are going to be getting into how Smiley is calling out the girls. Okay, she's calling out the girls and she wants some smoke, but do they want smoke? That's the question, child. So let's go ahead and get into it. Just make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so you know every single time I post a new video like, duh, y'all already knew what the hell I was going to say. So let's go ahead and get into it, child. Girl, so as you guys know by now, when Whoa Vicky initially went home, chow, her friends had a lot to say, and they were not happy that Krishan sent her guardian dog to basically, you know, put the paws on, on Whoa Vicky, chow. They were upset. So she had a couple things to say, and Whoa Vicky was basically co-signing her and laughing. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into it, chow. With her ugly child. The daddy don't even want the child. She don't even want the child. She don't want the child. So I might as well help him kill the child. So yeah, let's all be real. Hey, you want to try mine? So girl, real messy child. As you can see, girl, and the, the cats really was outraged by this. But Smiley, oh baby, Smiley wanted all the smoke behind this little comment right here, child. Let's get into it. Yo, Vicky, you know I know your whereabouts. You know I know where you sleep at. You need to stop doing that weird ass shit before I get your low and drop that. You talking about people, kids. That shit is weird. You and your friend. Even if you didn't come out your mouth, you entertaining and it's not funny, but you a child of God. Girl, sit your ass down before I drop your location. Yo, Vicky, you know I know. So what's good, ho? What's up? Like, do y'all feel like Smiley is doing this for clout? For you know what I'm saying? Like, like, what's up? What what you think? You know what I'm saying? Do y'all feel like it's for clout? Do you feel like she is genuinely trying to defend Krishan? Do y'all feel like she's a little bit too late? Because if you guys don't know, now you know, child, this video is from all the way back in August, child. Okay, but it is resurfacing, so you know the cast is just now starting to react. I guess. Let's get into some of the comments, and y'all drop y'all comments down in the comment section, child. Y'all already know what's going on, girl. Let's get into it so the first comment says smiley baby you can't fight like not even a little bit so please ciao <laughs> all right so the next one says the whole world talked about that girl's kid you ain't gonna pull up on everybody sis stop me munching girl so the next comment says smiley bullies the petite girls i don't agree with the video at all but let's talk facts. This video was done on Bigo, it seems, which it was live. It seems to, fuck. It seems which mean it's live. It seems which mean, girl, girl, y'all gotta learn how to spell, child. Anyways, girl, what basically this person is trying to say, okay, is that it was on Bigo, so it was live, meaning Vicky had the choice to leave it up or take it down, and they're pretty sure that Vicky took it down, child. Ugh child about to have a heart attack trying to read y'all goddamn the comments yeah anyways <laughs> anyways child instead of coming for vicky go after the friend she's the one popping off girl but whoa well, vicky is not the only person that smiley has smoke with child so she called herself trying to call out miss natalie nunn child to ep herself girl but natalie shut that down real quick one thing about it girl she was not going for it child okay so let's go ahead and get into this mess so, girl, one thing about it, Miss Natalie Nunn, girl, she is going to be outside. So, she took Tessiki Cat from season three of Baddies, Baddies West Chow, and Mariah Lynn, and, you know, Chef Teeth, girl, <laughs> Chef Veneers, if you will. She took them out to a basketball game. They sat courtside. They had a lot of fun. They were talking to fans. Girl, you know what I'm saying? They had a time. Like I said, one thing about Miss Natalie Nunn, girl, she is going to be outside, chat. Okay. While Jacob is at home watching that baby. Let me stop. <laughs> Anyways, girl. So, Smiley did not like this, girl. Y'all know Smiley and Mariah Lynn are at odds. So, Smiley felt some type of way about this, so she called Natalie out for being fake and acting funny. Chow, so uh, Smiley took it to Instagram and said, Nat, you be acting real funny, no cap. They got fake beef against me? This is crazy. Girl, okay, so Natalie said, calm down. This is the East Coast vibes. I'll be in Miami Tuesday. Relax. We outside. Damn, let me chill and have fun. I'm all over the world with the, all the baddies, girl. My thing is with these run-on sentences, child. Natalie, girl, you be claiming... 
I'm a college graduate, this, that, and the third. But baby, you can't, y'all can't, y'all girls can't even put a sentence together like these run on sentences, girl. Don't know where to, uh, you know what I'm saying? Where the sentence end, where it begins, girl. So she also says, Smiley, I've been friends with Mariah way before you. <laughs> calm down like i said you gotta relax we're not talking about you we are enjoying ourselves you're doing too much like the way you lied about getting my my name tattooed and number man i've been cool with everybody don't do that wtf girl i don't give a damn what nobody say it is so obvious that natalie does not like smiley because first of all i understand that she kind of called you out and it's like girl smiley she is a grown woman she could really hang out with whoever she pleases without you having a you know what i'm saying without having to worry about you coming to the internet just being weird like girl she can hang out with who she wants to talk about some natalie acting funny because she's hanging out with mariah lynn girl be girl boo bye you know what i'm saying and I kind of understand what she's saying because it's like, if you're my friend, why are you hanging out with an op? But it's really just like, she's not your friend. You know what I'm saying? Like, girl, boo, bye. Anyways, so like I was saying before, <laughs> you could just tell that Natalie does not care for Smiley because what did that have to do with the conversation? <laughs> <laughs> Not only talking about you doing too much, just like how you lied about getting my name tattooed and, and my phone number. <laughs> Natalie, girl, you been wanting to get that off your chest, child. Girl, so this was not it, child. Like, listen, girl. <laughs> this was not all the drama. So, like I said, not only did she basically try to confront um whoa vicky and natalie online she also recently did an interview where she damn near confronted damn near half of her goddamn uh cast members chat okay so we're gonna get into it child let's go ahead and get into what she had to say and then we're gonna talk about it girl i knew everything that was going on mm -hmm. you know, i was never to be seen but i was watching everybody move mm -hmm. i was watching everything from the yachts i was posted up a block away like i was really on this bitch head just because you talked about my kid and just how you said you said you didn't say it it don't matter you said your sister said it so she can get it too yeah anybody, anybody can get it about yes about my son mm -hmm. it's a difference bitch you can talk all shit about me you call me fat what you be saying um uh, what you be saying puffy puffy whatever whatever you want to call me it don't matter but by my kid i take it different and it's, yeah. it's a different type and it's of gonna life. be different when i see you <laughs> it's a different type mm -hmm. of life of feeling when you talk about yeah. somebody's kid the difference is them bitches ain't got no kids so they wouldn't understand yeah they wouldn't understand all this you trying to raise people out as you said it's not the same well i watch baddies i'm a uh, uh, uh. Well, I, I fuck with Natalie. I, do too. I, I don't know if she fuck with me. I don't know if she generally like me or not. I don't know. I don't really care. But I fucking generally like her. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, dog, like she she knows what she's doing. You know what I'm saying? That bitch is a boss. And on some real shit, like I said before, but that's the thing she I told opens you. doors to bitches that like, really. You know that really, like, really been working hard. But that's what no, I, I feel about on the map. She's loud and nauseous and annoying, and she wants to be the center of attention. And I already, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, like from the jump, like I already had, like I already had my ways of, like, you know, why I really didn't want to fuck with her. She did some weird. Mm -hmm. shit. She sat there and called one of the somebody that I guess that she. With mm -hmm. inside the school. Oh, 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 oh. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. she, don't, she fought with somebody and she made a call and, and said some shit that I said I'd never say. Really? For real? Like, you don't do that. How you gonna sit there and lie? Because I've seen on the mat um, in the blogs, she said she had made like jokes when you guys were at the um, Daddy's premiere. She made a joke about your dress online in the blogs and stuff. Um, so, how did you feel about that when she, you like know, go. Like a mermaid? Yeah, she, like a mermaid, something like that. When, they, when, she, mermaid. when she goes on the red, was... how do you feel about on the mat? Today, what would you say to on the mat? Or what would you do to on the mat if you didn't see her at this moment? Well, I'm not talking with her. I'm not. Yeah. It's all hands. It's all. It's it's up. Like her disrespect. Like I didn't even want to fight her. You feel me? Because mm -hmm. I felt like we could fix what we had. Mm -hmm. But you just carried on so much. You know what I'm saying? It was just you disrespectful. You real disrespectful. And you don't know how to keep your mouth shut. Just like Natalie said, you just shut the fuck up. Today, what would you say to her? 
and it made me open my eyes that I can't trust nobody. Mm-hmm. I gotta watch what I say to people. Yes, you, know you what do. Saying? I gotta watch my back. You gotta move different. I gotta move different. So it definitely <laughs> opened my eyes to different aspects in life. But to really feel like I just felt like after I had that, and you know, what I'm saying I felt like I didn't have a woman or a female like supporting me during that, mm-hmm. and they just all want to knock me down and just swipe, sweep, you know, sweep my feet off so I could just drop straight back on my back of my head, like. It and it made me open my eyes out. I can't. Okay, so let's talk about the whoa, Vicky and Smiley situation first because that is what I addressed first in the video. So honestly, I really don't feel any type of way about this. Honestly, everybody knows that whoa, Vicky has been getting a lot of pushback and backlash from a lot of people, including her cast, because of, you know, the, the look clout chasing stuff. You know what I'm saying? And her portraying this image, but, you know, being in a live with her friend, talking about Krishan's child. Honestly, I'm really surprised that this video is just resurfacing and a lot of people are just now seeing this video. Like I said, I've been clocked this tea way back in August when they initially started filming and well, Vicky initially went home. Girl, you know what I'm saying? So it's like the fact that this video is resurfacing and it's like all the baddies and everyone is like just now seeing it. It's just kind of crazy. So again, I already spoke on this. OT been clocked that girl <laughs> you know what i'm saying y'all better subscribe child ben clock the girl but i really don't feel a type of way about it you know smiley's a mother it probably trick you know you, we just don't know how she feels as a mother seeing something like that you know what i'm saying so i don't know i don't really feel a type of way about it i don't think she's wrong do i feel like she's clout chasing not really y'all let me know how y'all feel about it because girl the girls were as you can see, girl, the comments were not on her side. They're like, first of all, girl, you can't fight. <laughs> Which explains why she wanted to drop the location in the first place. Because, yeah. Anyways, next topic is her versus Natalie Chow. Where she called Natalie out for being fake and phony. For basically going out without her. That's really what I was getting. Either that or hanging out with Mariah Lynn. Which is kind of crazy because at this point... I don't know what type of high pedestal, uh, I don't know what type of high pedestal these baddies hold Natalie on, but it's like at this point, y'all should really know that this girl is really not y'all friends. Like y'all are not, y'all are not her friends, baby. Okay. Especially you smiley because she has let it be known multiple times that she felt like you were weird, creepy, a liar, and just all that. It's like she, I don't even understand why she would get the impression that Natalie is her friend. You know what I'm saying? So her confronting Natalie about like going out with the other baddies is super weird, especially because Natalie is a grown woman. She can honestly do whatever she pleases, hang out with who she pleases. Who are you to tell her who she can and can hang out with? And you sitting here bringing it to the internet like a weirdo instead of texting her, you know, because you found her, you found her number on the black market, child. You know what I'm saying? So you got her number, you got her Instagram, you got her social media accounts. Why aren't you just being a grown woman and DMing her instead of, you know, bringing it to social media and trying to call her out for being fake? Chow, Natalie ate her up. with. <laughs> Natalie does not like that girl. She's talking about some, you're doing too much, just like when you lied about the tattoo and getting my number. Natalie, girl, you been wanting to say that to her, girl. <laughs> Like, you know, when somebody start arguing with somebody else and like, they can't wait to just get something off their chest, but they, you know what I'm saying? You can tell they can't wait because the very first time that person makes them mad, they immediately say it like, girl, you've been, you've been holding that in for a minute, girl. You know what I'm saying? You've been wanting to say that child. Anyways, so Smiley also does the interview and she addresses many people, including Strawberry, Mariah Lynn's sister. She addresses Mariah Lynn and she addresses Anna Mac. So I'm starting to notice a real pattern with Smiley, girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know you wanted the big bad girls. You know what I'm saying? But it's like you, you really seem to pick on petite girls a lot. And I feel like it's a little bit weird. You know what I'm saying? Like the only people that you really have smoke, smoke with, they're all petite and way smaller than you not saying that you know what i'm saying because at the end of the day we seen with scotty versus on the mac and um on the mac versus dj sky size really don't matter but you know i'm not mad at you girl but i just see a little pattern with you child is it cute no no girl but anyways so what, what was i gonna say girl so first she addresses um mariah lynn 
And she said prior to the season, when they were on the yacht parties and just having parties, she literally would know their every location. She would be a block away just knowing. That's weird. Like, you just admitted to being a stalker. Smiley. This is what I'm telling y'all. And I've been told y'all something about Smiley just does not sit right with me, girl. It's like the fact that she has been caught in multiple lies and she admits to doing things like getting Natalie's phone number off the black market. And um, what else did she admit to? She just admitted to damn near being a stalker, borderline stalking. You're telling you're telling this interviewer pretty much that wherever they were, you literally had the drop on every single location where they were and you were a block away. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It just don't. Smiley, uh, something I'm telling y'all, Smiley, child, I don't know. I got to feel her out more, but I don't know about Smiley, girl. I do not know about Smiley. Um, And then what else did she talk about? She talked about Anna Mac as well. Okay, so she said when she sees Anna Mac, it's going to be straight hands, okay? And she also said that that's how she felt about Mariah Lynn at the time because Mariah Lynn's sister talked about her child. Child... Um, I'm going to talk about this in another video, but baby, I think you trying to get, you know, get your one on the Mac. I don't think that's going to go as smooth as you think it is because Camila and Tessiki already said, uh, whoever has smoke with on the Mac also got smoke with them at the reunion. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think that's going to go too good for you, boo. But you know, it that's cute though. We're going to see what you're going to do, child. Anyways, girl, let's move on. So chow. Anna Mac, Mariah Lynn, and her sister Strawberry responded to the recent interview that Smiley did where she was speaking on them, girl. Okay, I already showed you the clip, so let's just jump right into what they had to say to her, chap. Anna Mac clapped back and said, for Smiley to say, I'm the one who wants to be the center of attention, and I was quiet most of this season. She was the one doing all of that. Can't wait for the show to air. The girl faked a pregnancy, faked a seizure. Also, the girl wanted to be friends with Mariah all season. And cry not to fight. This girl is a liar. This girl was trying to make up scenes and do acting stunts for the camera telling us we should do this and we should do that. This girl is literally delusional trying to create, trying to make her own beats in the show. Mariah Lynn also responded to this comment and said, not one lie told sis. And don't worry, one thing about them Zeus cameras, they don't lie. Also, we was in separate houses all season. I requested to go to house B three times. And they told me I couldn't because she was scared. I'm telling y'all now, and I have been saying this ever since before the season, there is something not right about that girl, okay? <laughs> and I'm I'm never going to, one thing I'm not going to do because I don't really don't care about the show that much to do it, to, you know what I'm saying, try to sway y'all opinion about somebody. I would never try to do that, but I'm telling y'all, child, something is off with Smiley Girl. I'm trying to tell y'all. All right, Messy Mob, that's all I have for y'all today. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on that post notification bell so you know every single time I upload a new video. That's the baddest East T of the day, child, concerning Smiley Chow, okay? Girl, let me know how y'all feel in the comment section about multiple of these situations. And that's all I got for y'all today. It's Messy Maya. Bye! Yours, damn right. it's